again, it's Priscilla Batzel, and it's tomorrow, and over there is yesterday's picture. So this is stage two. These are prism pour and, and primary elements colors. And I tried to use a little card to do this, and it really didn't work very well. Maybe a shorter one would, but um, I've got a couple of pieces of tongue depressor that I've cut to the right length, and I'm going to just try and fill in the best I can with the colors I've got to start with. And I wanted to tell you that Cupid's Crush is this red next to the pink, and it's a primary element. You can link these up, make them longer. I'm going to put a... I'm losing my color, so I'm going to put it a bunch of places right now. And because yesterday's colors are dry, I should have no problem with any bleeding between the colors or running. And I think I'm going to like this. So as soon as I run, run out of places to put the colors that I've started with, I will grab my second dish if I need it. Because I probably don't need everything I've got. Probably not. My um, my Cupid's Crush is mixing <laughs> right now with the uh, what is it? With the jasmine, which is a primary element, which is really kind of okay. I think I'll just continue on with that. Because it's one of my all-time favorite colors. I never, I never get tired of that color. I want some purple. And the purple is Wild Orchid, new primary element. Excuse me. New Prism Pour. And next to it I have some Marooned. I'm going to try and get most of the color off of my stick before I go back again. And I've got Miami my Magenta with a little bit of marooned in it, obviously. I don't think it matters how messy you are. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to be messy, but I'm also not worried too much about crossing over. I'm hoping that's not a problem. I am doubling up a few lines. I'm going to grab some of this as the new saffron color. I liked what I had, but I wanted it to become something I was interested in playing with. I'm going to give myself some of this sour lemon. It has a little bit of orange unicorn spit in it. It used to be orange, orange crush. I don't think it matters. I really don't mind if the colors start to mix with each other at all. Because they'll blend in your eye no matter what. I want some blue, so I'm going to just grab this other container and grab some Egyptian blue. And maybe wipe this off. I did save myself out a piece of acetate to cover everything with, so I can keep it from getting gooey. Ooh, that's not... I just broke my stick. Darn. <laughs> okay. Never mind. So this is the Egyptian blue. And then I'm going to wipe off my stick again. Although I could use a fresh stick, for sure, and I've got one too, don't I? Maybe I should. Um, i got to keep moving. I'm going to continue on with the wild orchid. And maybe combine it with a little bit of the marooned in a second. Love, love, love the wild orchid. It's 
best. I'm going to grab a little bit of that marooned. I don't really think you can mess this up because the colors from Color Art are gorgeous. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that marooned. bit more wild ochre. I'm not even sure I put my colors out right, but I'm just teaching myself how to do these things as I go along. I want some of this sparkling aqua. I suspect I might be putting out too much color. I want to wipe off my excess. But I'd rather have enough and even too much. Oh, that that makes a great statement in there. I like that a lot. I thought about doing like half of this before I started the recording, just to um, just to get a jump start on how long it would take. Oh, and I did make myself a sort of a map. I actually took the digital took a photograph with my phone and digitally added the colors with my photo editor to see what I liked before I started to do this. So I, I'm not just guessing. I had an idea. I want a lighter blue and I have this gorgeous agave blue which is coming right up next. It's, um, it's in the cerulean blue family for sure. And I love it. That little mark. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy putting this down. And this is going to camouflage some of the muddiness from the leftovers I used yesterday. I think I could use this method also to do a starburst. And you can definitely grab shorter sticks, longer sticks. Shorter sticks, you can make a longer line. Longer sticks just get complicated. Got to be careful of orange and yellow next to blue. But as long as you're only dabbing, I don't think it should be a problem. Let's see. I don't have very much. I'm a little nervous, I guess. Didn't have that much of these colors over on this other end. Give them a little more. I like the aqua and the um, the aqua splash and the agave blue together. I want to get back to that purple right now, right in here. You could slide your stick. I like lifting it. And because yesterday's marks are dry, you can go right over the top of them. And throw an odd mark in once in a while, just to brighten everything up a little bit. Throw some random colors in, because they're all going to blend in the eye. And I think I'm going to like this a lot. Wipe off my stick again. Grab some of this sour lemon. I am certain at some point in time, there may even be a color that's very similar. Golden poppy is a similar color. I didn't do enough yellow over here. There we go, that's better. Much better. I'm pretty sure I could take most of 20 minutes to do this and I may. The probability is very high. There's a lot to fill in but I might also get away with it. So I'm gonna just keep moving. And I'm not trying to be exact by any stretch of the imagination. 
And I do have cling. Glad cling wrap is my friend in the studio for certain. I wrap most of everything that I can get around to. I'm down to the very center of the package and it's really sticky, so I opted out this time for half of this. There, I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix some colors over here. And down there. Grab some more of this marooned. Sort of the wild orchid is getting a little bit absorbed by the colors next to it. So I might have to add a little more. The, uh, the slightly muddy paint made a pretty good neutral which is why this is going to work so well, I think. And of course, whatever is convenient right at the moment, it's going to fill in. I, so, I thought it would have dominant areas of certain colors mixing with other colors, but if that doesn't happen, I'm not going to be that upset. I think I'm almost done, so I should tell you, starting now at least, that I do sell my artwork. I'm inclined to um, see if I can flip this around and work on the other end. Flip my, flip my little map upside down too. Yeah, there we go, back to the blue. That's that Egyptian blue. There's a 20% off coupon code along with the link to the Color Art website right below the video. Also below the video, underneath Show More. And you will find my paint pouring recipe, but you will also find my link tree with my website on it. Le Gallerist clothing. I just added a bunch of new stuff to Le Gallerist. Definitely worth checking out. I thought I wasn't going to cross anything over, but I kind of like the explosion the look of everything sort of expanding in all directions. There's more of that aqua splash. I'm going to have to scrape out my dishes and put my colors in some other container and do something with them. Use a little bit more of that marooned. I don't mind the white spaces, but I like the alternative better. Filling in with colors is making me happy. And nothing's getting too muddy. Although it's good to wipe off your stick in between every few, every so often. All right, purple over here. That's what I'm seeing on my map. So where was I? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. When you share my videos, you help me out. I have over 2,700 videos. 28. I'm on. I'm working on a 2,800 playlist. Of course, it's mostly made up of members library videos. There's over 50 of them now. For those of you who can afford to help produce, help the studio produce videos by joining, it's a 9.99 a month membership fee but it does get you access to that members only library in case that's something that's of interest to you. And I'm trying to do two things at once, not very successfully. <laughs> I want to say thank you guys for, for all the donations that help keep me painting through PayPal. There's an icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. And when you use it, you'll be taken to a place you can make a donation I'm liking this. I'm thinking that I want more pinks over here. 
and oranges. I'm actually loving it. It's um, it's just too much fun. And my paint didn't dry out like I thought it was going to. Because maybe it was in, you know, little squeezies. <laughs> There's got to be a better word than that. Someone will suggest it and I'll think of it in two seconds right now. Dribbles is my usual go-to. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Still used 16 minutes. Not a big surprise. Let's see, what else did I miss? On, on my link tree, you're going to find the gallerist. And I just put, added new designs there. I think I mentioned that, actually. So forgive me. I am loving this. Of course, I love color art colors, so it's really hard to pick a few favorites. And that 20% off coupon, that will be a big help. Because a lot of things are... These are the... Wait, I can tell you. <laughs> these are the tropical waters and the deserted island colors. I had some choices to use something else and I decided that I would rather use my new mixtures. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to look for gaps that I think might benefit from another color. But I'm not going to worry about it because I really think that the gaps add, the white adds as much to everything as the colors do. That's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'll be cleaning up for a minute. I have a lot of lights on, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to shimmer this at you. But I could try. What did I just see? There we go. Okay, so let me grab my phone. And um, I'm really, really happy with this. I didn't mind part one. I really liked it. I'm going to go around and <laughs> turn off at least one light. I'm not sure it's going to help, but I'll try. And this is going to be gorgeous. Just totally gorgeous. I'm loving it. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you can see some of that sparkle. And there's probably going to be the odd place. Like that. that I want to add something to. But not much else. All right, so I love you guys. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Make sure you check out my recipe, paint pouring recipes. They're below the video. And uh, my community board will show you tomorrow's video. I post at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have questions, please feel to ask. Feel free to ask. Um, my Amazon link is on the link tree. I have two books there because I can and unlimited possibilities are the first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube. And, um, oh boy. <laughs> That's pretty much it. There's a lot of stuff on my link tree and uh, I hope you enjoy visiting. Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is now Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. And uh, we hope to see you there. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you anon.